right, let's check out the new kitchen. So as you come in, uh, one of the new things that we've never done before that we're trying out with this kitchen is um, an epoxy base on the walls and on the floor. So no tile in the, uh, in the entire kitchen. Um, I would say 90% of the walls in here are epoxy uh, and the rest are stainless. Um, and we're hoping to do that um, with great success and just it's a more durable solution, it'll be easier to clean. Uh, but we've never done that before, so that's, uh, that's new for us. Um, what we're seeing in here right now is our uh, prep room. Um, kind of be along this wall and we have our produce cooler and our cooked meat cooler over here on, uh, on my right. And then up here is our main cook line, our main service line that goes this way. Uh, so this is where all the hot food uh, will go out and into the dining room. Uh, one of the cool, unique features now, because uh, we built this brand new kitchen what, in what used to be a parking lot, is it is on the south side of the building, legitimately uh, right next to an exterior wall. So you can see the old roof up there that will always be in there, that will now be uh, part of the inside of the building, part of the kitchen. Um, just made more sense to leave it and uh, then to take it down and just kind of makes a little fun fact uh, for us. Uh, it's always gonna be there. So, uh, have a service station here, dining room is right on the other side of that wall. Um, there's actually people eating in there now. Um, and then in about five weeks, we'll, uh, we'll create a doorway and um, all the food will be able to go in through there. And then when that's done, we'll start demolishing the old kitchen and we'll build back a, uh, a bar and a, and a proper waiting area. So through here, we've got our, uh, our dish room over here on, uh, on my right. Um, we'll have dishes and uh, wash, our, uh, wash our pots. And we've got dry storage uh, on my right here. We've got a freezer. Um, we don't honestly have much frozen stuff. Uh, we have frozen corn, ice cream, and french fries, and that's about it. So we do have a small freezer. Spot for an ice machine, a bathroom, and honestly, the rest of this back here is just more, more dry storage. Then through here, on the other side of the line, uh, we've got our, our carry-out line. So our line for the, uh, for the dining room where uh, hot food goes out is over there on my left. To my right is a completely and totally separate kitchen facility just for our carry-out business. So about a third of our business that we do over here is carry out. So we have a lot of space to do that well, especially for our holidays when they get really busy. Um, and what you saw earlier in the videotape was, um, or did you show it? We didn't show the, uh, the, the covered patio for mm -hmm. carry out, did we? So we have a, we're gonna have a covered carry out, uh, covered patio for carry out. So when we get really busy on holidays, we can actually even further extend our carry out facilities out there, so 4th of July, Christmas Eve, Father's Day, Mother's Day, just gets us more space to allow guests to easily pick up uh, their order and get out uh, very So, um, so yeah, so this is all of our carrot area. We've got a little bit of a lobby up here, and then there'll be a door over here that'll cut into the uh, to the main dining room. And then there's only one more piece to show where all the barbecue magic happens. Right back here on my right, none of the equipment's in there uh, right now, but this is our kind of our barbecue production area where we'll have um, both rotisserie smokers made by Southern Pride and also a uh, our barbecue brick oven pit and, uh, and another cooler for all of our raw meat. So this stuff is happening very, very quickly uh, within the next two or three weeks. All the equipment will be in and in about four weeks we'll, uh, we'll be fully operational out of this kitchen.